Like its more famous neighbor to the north, St. Pete Beach, Paso Grill Beach offers its visitors some of the most beautiful, wide stretches of white sandy beach that Florida has to offer. Unlike St. Pete Beach, however, you won't find Paso Grill on many spring break itineraries or top beaches lists. But if you ask any St. Pete area resident what the best local beach is, there's a good chance they'll point you to Paso Grill. In this video, we're going to show you what makes this little laid-back beach town so appealing to the locals and so different from its more touristy neighbor to the north. So come along with us as we show you around Paso Grill, the best little beach town you may have never heard of. As usual, we started our morning off in search of coffee. And while we did find our coffee options to be limited in this little beach town, we were thankful to find an ice cream shop that advertised locally roasted coffee and espresso drinks, in addition to locally made ice cream. Once inside Paradise Suites, visitors will find a good variety of coffee options available from the local roaster Bravado. During our visit, we ordered a caramel latte to go. We briefly enjoyed our coffee on the colorful front patio before making our way across the street to one of the many public beach access points. If you visit Paso Grill on a cloudy morning during the down season like we did, you may just be lucky enough to have the beach nearly all to yourself. But even on much busier beach days, visitors are likely to find far less crowded beaches on Paso Grill when compared to the more touristy areas to the north. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are out here on Paso Grill Beach. Paso Grill Beach is located on the far south side of St. Pete Beach and we love coming down here because it's probably the least touristy part of St. Pete Beach and it has a small town old Florida feel. Now we've already got our coffee for the day and we enjoyed it while walking along the beach before the sun came out because we know once it comes out it's gonna be hot. Next we're gonna go grab breakfast so stick around as we show you how to spend a day on Paso Grill Beach. After a quick four block walk, we arrived at our breakfast destination, Seahorse Restaurant. Located on the historic 8th Avenue section of Paso Grill, the Seahorse was established in 1938 and has been family owned and operated for the last 40 plus years. Visitors to this breakfast and lunch spot will find it to have a laid back, old Florida beach vibe, and of course, seahorses. Our breakfast order arrived with much anticipation and included the Cajun shrimp and cheesy grits with bacon bits and a blueberry pecan pancake. We both agreed that while the pancake was good, the shrimp and grits were on another level of deliciousness. We just finished our meal at the Seahorse restaurant. We really enjoyed breakfast, but did want to mention that they also serve lunch items like burgers, sandwiches, some seafood dishes, and also some vegetarian options. Now, the sun hasn't quite peaked out yet, so I think we're gonna check out the pier and the downtown area before heading back over to the beach. So here at the pier, you can also book a ferry to take you over to Shell Key. This is an area that's great for shelling. You can also camp over here. So these different islands here, you can only get to them by boat or by paddling. After enjoying some time out on the pier, we decided to take advantage of the abnormally cool and cloudy weather by taking a walk down the historic 8th Avenue. Here visitors will find a true old Florida experience, as the street contains the oldest dwellings on all of the Pinellas beaches. 
Art lovers will be happy to find several shops and galleries in Pasigro, as well as some unique artwork on the downtown buildings. We especially enjoyed the mural on the historic Keystone Motel, which we found to describe Pasigrill pretty accurately. Visitors looking to shop for clothing, accessories, or souvenirs will also find great options, such as Bamboozle in downtown Pasigrill. And in case you're needing some toys for your day at the beach, visitors are free to borrow the ones outside of Paradiso, another neat little shop on 8th Street. And if you're really looking for a true old Florida experience while in Pasigrill, you can even stay in a historic cottage right on 8th Avenue. So while Pasigrill is technically still part of St. Pete Beach, as you've probably noticed, it has a much different look and feel than the parts of St. Pete Beach we've recorded from in the past. Those parts are full of high rises, condos, and beach bars, whereas Pasigrill is full of old Florida style cottages and has hardly any high rises at all. Another thing that you'll find in Pasigrill that you won't find at the busier beaches to the north is a beach designated specifically for dogs, and that's where we were off to next. After a short walk along the channel, we arrived at the far south tip of Long Key, the location of the Pasigrill Dog Beach. We found this beach to be surprisingly quiet and relaxing on this Saturday afternoon. And while we did enjoy our time on the dog beach, I don't think we enjoyed it quite as much as this guy. Well, it's still pretty cloudy, so I think it's time to go get some drinks. Let's do it. Our search for cold drinks led us a mile to the north to see Critters Cafe. Here visitors will find laid back waterfront dining, fresh seafood, some seriously amazing cocktails, and an abundance of old Florida charm. We enjoyed checking out the sea critters while awaiting our drink order, which included a local beer and a jalapeno margarita. It soon became obvious why sea critters is known for their amazing margaritas, as we found ours to be fresh, smooth, and the perfect blend of sweet and spicy. That's good. Alright guys, we just left Sea Critters after having a couple of delicious drinks and checking out the dog beach. And it is still cloudy outside. I promise we checked the weather yesterday and it was supposed to be sunny most of the day, but yet we have not seen the sun. And I'm not sure if it's ever going to come out, so we're just going to head to the beach anyways. We'll see you there. We set out our beach blanket and just our luck, it started to rain. Yeah, we haven't had great luck with the weather today, but the good news is about a hundred foot back, we walked by a place right on the beach that sells food and drinks. And we're starting to get hungry and thirsty, so we're gonna head over there. Located at 900 Gulf Way, the Paradise Grill offers casual, beachfront drinks and dining, plus live music and a gift shop. We were both quite impressed with the variety of food and drink options on the menu, and even more impressed with how reasonable the prices were for the spot right on the beach. Visitors to the Paradise Grill will find a good selection of outdoor seating options, most of which offer views of the beach. I don't 
local craft beer for $5 and a smoothie for $4.50. We also ordered the loaded nachos, which at just $9 was plenty to hold us over until dinner. It is raining just a little bit right now, but we have this umbrella above us, so we're staying nice and dry. Visitors to Passa Grill who are looking for dining with a gulf view also have a couple of great options at Brass Monkey and Hurricane Grill. But if you want to enjoy food and drinks right on the beach like we did, Paradise Grill is the spot for you. So one of the benefits of being out here on Passa Grill on a cloudy day and also in early September, which is definitely the off season, is that the beach is not very busy and there's also plenty of parking. After riding out the rain with beachfront drinks and nachos, we decided to make another attempt at the beach. This time around, luck was a little more on our side and while we didn't get any sun, we at least didn't get rained on. We do want to show you the sand here on Passagro Beach. It is a little more shelly compared to some of the beaches to the north. So not quite as powdery, but still really nice. Tide is definitely coming in. Hey guys, it's only four o'clock right now, but we decided we're just gonna go grab dinner early in hopes that just maybe the sun will be coming out when we're done and we can show you how beautiful Paso Grill Beach can be on a sunny day. And if that doesn't happen, we'll just have to show you some footage from our last visit. After a quick walk back to our vehicle, we made the short drive up Paso Grill Way for another meal on the water. Upon arrival at the wharf, we decided to take advantage of the unusually cool and cloudy summer weather and grabbed an outdoor table with another great waterfront view. Here we enjoyed an order of jalapeno conch fritters along with the massive Billy's Steak and Cheeseburger. Gosh. And while the burger was delicious, we were glad to have resisted the urge to order two, as we were barely able to finish just the one. Plus, we never would have had the room for this amazing piece of key lime pie. We wish we could tell you that the sun had finally come out after we finished our dinner, but sadly that was not the case. But since we can't end this video without showing you how gorgeous Passa Grill is on a sunny day, we'll leave you with some footage from another summer visit. Thanks so much for joining us on our day of exploring in Paso Grill. If you're interested in seeing more of the Gulf beaches or other Florida content, make sure to subscribe to our channel and turn the notifications on. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching.